This video is to show you how to download Python and Eclipse and make Python work inside of Eclipse. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to python.org slash downloads and click on download Python 3.5.1 or whatever the latest 3 version is. If you notice there's a 2 point something and then a 3 point something, we're going to be working with the 3 in class so make sure you get three point whatever uh, when you install it make sure it installs to your program folder uh, the programs x86 folder so that you can easily find it later because you're gonna have to point to it inside of Eclipse and if you can't find it then you can't tell Eclipse where to look for it also download Eclipse. Go to Eclipse.org, click the download button, get Eclipse IDE for Java developers, get the 32-bit version. That way the 32-bit version of Python and the 32-bit version of Eclipse will work together. If you have a 64-bit of one and the 32-bit of the other, they won't work together. So you have to have the 32-bit version of both. <clears throat> I recommend the Eclipse IDE for Java developers because if you are in the CET program then later on you're going to be learning Java so you might as well go ahead and get the IDE for Java so anyway you'll download that you'll install it and then you will be ready to set it up for Python so I've already installed it um, go to your file explorer, your C drive, should be under programs, program files x86, um, actually no, it create, I created mine right into the C drive, so my, you can put yours anywhere you want, I just put mine straight into the C drive, you'll open Eclipse, you'll double click on the application you can right click on it and click send to and then desktop to create a shortcut that's how I got my shortcut up here but when you first download it there is no shortcut so we'll double click on that to open it up it is a little bit slow um, to start off with but once you get into it it's a little quicker uh, create a workspace I normally just use my user folder and then slash workspace you can create yours wherever you'd like so now uh, when you first open Eclipse you see I'm already in PyDev because I've installed PyDev onto my machine but when you first start up you will be in Java and not in PyDev so which the Java one looks exactly the same um, but we're, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to set it up for PyDev so the first thing you're gonna have to do is go to <clears throat> your help and then install new software <clears throat> this is where we're gonna get PyDev from now I've already installed it so I've got a quick link to it but what you'll have to do is click on add and call it PyDev and then type in pydev.org slash updates and then click OK <clears throat> oh, excuse me and I'm not going to click OK because I already have it so what I'm going to do is just drop down and go to it and you'll see there are two different options you're only going to want this first one don't worry about the Mylan integration we're not going to use that you'll click next it'll calculate the dependencies sometimes it takes a little while there we go so you're going to want to leave both of these checked and then now I can't do this because it's already installed if you'll notice I've got this 
error right here saying PyDef will be ignored because it's already installed and the developer resources because they're already installed you will not get that error but you will leave both of these items checked you will click next and then you'll go through the process of installing them it'll it'll tell you at one point that the certificates cannot be validated do you want to trust them trust them and go ahead and install it it's not going to hurt your computer everything's going to be fine so I'm going to back out of this because I can't go any further because I already have PyDev installed. Once you have PyDev installed, there's one more thing you have to do to get Eclipse to run PyDev. And that is, well actually a couple things. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is go to Windows and go to Preferences. We have to point to our um, Python library. So we're going to go to PyDev. We're going to go to interpreters and we're going to go to python interpreter and open it up we're going to create a new one and the interpreter name um, i'm just going to call my python 3.5 because i actually just installed this we're going to browse um, user or program files this is why it's important to put your python folder when you download it into this program files x86 folder so that you can find it again python python 35 and then click on your python executable file not the python w just the python and click open click ok it'll come up with all the libraries that it needs to import automatically you don't have to do anything make sure they're all selected because you want them all click OK then click apply it'll show you that it's going through and it's pulling all these things in and whatnot this may take a minute or two as well because there's several files that have to be done once it's done you'll see that the one I just created is now up here um, allow the firewall if this pops up when you're doing this make sure you allow Eclipse through your firewall so that it will work properly so now I've got everything in here I'm gonna click OK now to get uh, once you do that you still only have this Java um, section on your machine when you first do it so to get this PyDev section you have to go back to window and create it a perspective so go to perspective windows perspective open perspective click on other and then right at the very top is PyDev. you can click either one of these actually this was the one I the new one I just created this is the old one that was already here so either one will work um, you'll only have one because you've just created your first one. I have two because I created two by accident. Well, through doing this video, I've created two. So I'm just going to leave the one I have. Click OK. And then you'll notice up in the top right hand corner, you will have a Java and a PyDev now that you can create programs in either language. So I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions that you can't get through f by using this video, you can email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible to help you get any issues resolved.